for Isaiah Rashad to be like straight up, I like men, I like women, but I think I'm sexually fluid. I wouldn't identify with a specific category. It's like, bro, that's not how that works. When Raven Simone came out here and said, oh, I'm not African American, I'm just American, we was on her ass, and rightfully so. What's going on, y'all? My name is Higher, and welcome back to my channel, Higher Videos. Now, I recently watched Isaiah Rashad sit down with Joe Budden and talk about his sex tape leaking, talk about his sexual orientation and all that jazz. And literally, the most annoying thing in that video, the most annoying thing so many masculine LGBTQ men do, is when they play that dance between, oh yes, I like guys, but I don't identify as LGBTQ. You know, Isaiah Rashad very clearly was like, How do you identify today? I'd say, like, I'm sexually fluid. What like, does, I, what does that mean? I, I'm still learning about it myself. I'm, I'm getting put my heads in the books to, to, to find out. Oh, I don't really care about gender. I'll go for guys or girls, but I wouldn't really identify as gay or bi that I, I'm sexually fluid. This is the same thing in my last video Tyler Posey did. There was a podcast with the actor from Power who played Zeke where he recently got kind of put on blast with the guys kind of being like, yo, what's your sexual orientation? What was up with the girls at the point? I'm sorry? Girls. Girls what? What's up with them? You got any girlfriends? Um, I'm, I'm a single individual right now. You know what? I'm a single individual right now. Did you have any girls in school? Uh, I, I, I'm kind of, um, no, 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 no. I'm kind of. I'm kind of, uh, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of. Hold on. They have these whole new, uh, a lot of, um, labels these days. Let's get into it. Bisexual, asexual, gay, lesbian. I don't know. I don't know all the titles. So what, what, what do you identify with? Are you a straight man? I haven't, I haven't actually decided. Um, Respect. And I don't want to put a label on you. You know what I'm saying? But you just said anybody who like you. So that means if a man like you, you go, you may go that direction? It's a day-to-day -day journey, honestly. Bro, but well, are you ashamed to say that you like men if you do? Like, because I, because if you do, no disrespect, no disrespect to you, but if you do, like, aren't you supposed to, like, not be ashamed of it or in this industry? It's more acceptable. I, I'm very I'm very proud of who I am. I tell you, and I can tell you that, uh, that you know, it's, like I said, I, I think I can sum it up, you know, is... Bro, stop, were you born with... Bro, like, come on. I, I need to, I, I need to answer what I'm saying. I'm is telling that, you the answer. I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying, I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying to... Were you born I'm gay, bro? So, you forced me instead of... You, you playing Ring Around the Rose and I'm trying I'm to... Not, I'm not, I'm trying to... Because he made it very clear that, like, women were not his cup of tea. Or maybe not only women were his cup of tea. And rather than straight up saying, oh, I'm only into guys. Or I'm into guys and girls, so I'm bi. Like, he very much made a whole big deal of, like... Oh, I'm into this. I like energies. I'm into personalities type thing. If you've been tuned into my channel for a while, you have heard me speak many a times about this great ocean of struggle that masculine men have with just saying the words, I'm gay, I'm bisexual, even pansexual, which I don't really consider like a real category because I feel like pansexual people are just bisexual people who don't care whether or not you've had surgery. Like... Being transgender is not a whole gender in and of itself. It's literally just going from one gender to the next, maybe being at some halfway point in between, depending on your journey. But I kind of feel like just keeping it simple for the sake of discussion and for the sake of just like categories, looking at people in the world, straight, gay, bisexual. And a lot of pe interviewers have gotten put on blast for that. Like the guys in that interview with the actor from Power, a lot of people were getting on them on Twitter because they were like, why would y'all be pressing him if he clearly doesn't want to say what his sexual orientation is? But it's like he pretty much did say what his orientation was when they asked him like, yo, what was your situation with girls? And he pretty much said, I never mess with girls. I don't like girls. I mess with guys. Like, if you've gone as far as to say that, it shouldn't be a big deal for you to just straight up say, yeah, I'm gay. And so when Isaiah Rashad was like, oh, I identify as sexually fluid. And then Joe Budden was like, yo, what does that mean? And then he was like, oh, I don't really know. I'm still figuring it out myself. Like he was like, I'm doing readings about it. It's like, what book do you have to read for you to understand what you like? Is sexual orientation is not a complicated thing. Like for a guy, it's literally as simple as who can get you hard. 
I feel like it's not no deeper than that. Like, if a guy can get you hard, then a girl can get you hard bisexual. If only guys get you hard, gay. If only girls get you hard, straight. And I think most of us can agree the reason why so many masculine men have that issue with just coming out and saying straight up what their sexual orientation is is because they feel like their masculine identity is threatened by their LGBTQ identity. A lot of them don't want to look at their sexual behaviors as being a part of how they move through the world because it means that they have to look at themselves different. A lot of them just want to be one of the guys. They want to be a normal, regular guy. They don't want to be like those other guys in the pride parades with the skirts and da da da. And it's like, if that's not you, that's valid. It's not you. But you can say you're gay without feeling like you're automatically being put in a gender category that doesn't belong to you. And this is kind of the point I made in my last vid about talking about labels, gay, bisexual, pansexual, is that... People have to do the work in expanding the connotation of what it means to be LGBTQ, expanding the connotation of what does it mean to be a masculine man when it comes to sexuality. And I feel like maybe my biggest issue with it is it'll be guys who are so outspoken about all these other issues like Isaiah Rashad he makes music that I don't listen to but a lot of people relate to it because it's about a, like a lot of mental health it's about speaking up on a lot of things that get swept up under the rug and so it's like people will be activists in all these different types of ways but when it comes to just straight up doing something simple like saying this is me it's like the worst thing in the world for them it's like oh god anything but that and I guess I don't really want to make this like a critique on people who struggle with their sexual orientation as being lgbtq starts to get more normalized and more accepted and tolerated in the mainstream we're going down this very ridiculous path of respecting people not wanting to just straight up say what their sexual orientation is when it shouldn't be as big a deal as people are making it to be like have you been caught on camera having intercourse with men but you're publicly in a relationship with a woman it should be very clear oh this person's bisexual it should be very matter of fact let's keep this train moving but the fact that they sat down did a whole interview where he kind of talked about oh i'm this but i'm not that the fact that i personally have been in situations with guys who are like oh yeah i like you but i'm still attracted to girls but i wouldn't say that i'm bisexual it's like what does that mean like 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 what's the issue here like where's the big mental exercise and like turning this very simple situation into like this grand riddle we should normalize putting pressure on people with their sexual orientation in the same way we do it with race when raven simone came out here and said so you don't want to be labeled gay i don't want to be labeled gay I want to be labeled a human who loves humans. I'm tired of being labeled. I'm an American. I'm not an African American. I'm an American. Oh, girl, don't, don't set get up you Twitter on fire. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, what? I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> what did you just say? Stop, stop, stop the tape right now. We was on her ass. She got roasted on the internet and rightfully so. Every bisexual person I've ever talked to has been like, oh yeah, sometimes I like girls more. Sometimes I like guys more. Or they're like, yo, straight up, I like guys more than I like girls or I like girls more than I like guys very few people I've ever heard say oh I equally like girls and guys like I've heard it before but it's not very common and I feel like sexually fluid people are those who kind of want to exploit that oh sometimes I like girls more so maybe I'm not as gay or I'm not as bi like I shouldn't really be under the LGBT category kind of like when biracial people be trying to be like oh I'm not black I'm biracial it's like um, that's not really how that works, bro. When Bow Wow tried to be like- A Couple years ago, I think it was 2016, you said that you're mixed and you can't relate to civil rights issues. Mm-hmm. Can we talk about that? Yeah. Somebody on Twitter had uh, asked me the, um, about the movie Selma. The person on Twitter was like, well, you know your cousins and your relatives? And I said, listen, like I was born in Ohio. Somebody asked me, well, what are you? I was like, well, my, Cousins are half white and half black. They don't look anything like me. And then my grandmother, if she was sitting right here on this couch and y'all would look at me and my grandmother, my grandmother definitely doesn't look anything like me. Again, bro, that's not how that works. And so like for Isaiah Rashad to be like straight up, I like men, I like women, 
but I think I'm sexually fluid. I wouldn't identify with a specific category. It's like, bro, that's not how that works. And I guess you could say, bro, whose business is it? That's something he said in an interview. It's not anybody's business. I will agree that all the specific details about your romantic life isn't anybody's business. And I can agree that your sexual orientation isn't always an appropriate topic of discussion in certain situations. And especially when you're in like professional environments, you might just not be like something you're comfortable with just because it's like, that's your money. That's where you're gonna be spending a lot of time. And you know, professional environments aren't really places is where you show up as your full self more just like your work self but i feel like assumptions are made and you know assumptions are being made and you're going along with those assumptions and i feel like this whole oh it just wasn't anybody's business argument it's like a lie by omission it's a very passive lie there's no way to carry on this lie about your sexuality without actively saying oh yeah i would never be with a guy or stuff like like you have to say things to keep yourself in this straight category as far as like your public image goes but a very real aspect of this conversation that i think every lgbtq person can attest to is that when you're in the closet everything is a much bigger deal to you than it really is in real life. Like coming out seems like this huge mountain. It seems like all oh, the whole world's gonna collapse if anybody ever finds out. But a lot of the times when people come out, you realize, yo, I was making such a big deal out of really such a little situation. Like Isaiah Rashad, he came out and everybody was like, bro, I don't care. His fans were like, I don't care. You think they're gonna have this huge reaction and they don't. Mind you, a lot of people do have like a huge reaction and sometimes people get caught off guard by the negative feedback they get from coming out. So that's a very real thing. As you become an adult, I feel like being scared isn't a good enough reason not to be honest, not to be straightforward with people. I think being afraid of losing things that you're holding dear to like is not an excuse. And Isaiah Rashad is in his 30s or at least very close to his 30s and he's financially well off. If someone like him is very scared to come out, then like why should the 15 year old kid in high school still living with his parents? Like why should they come out? Like why should anybody come out if even these wealthy rich people feel like oh my whole world's gonna end, my whole life is gonna end? Like the fact of the matter is for a lot of people it's not that big a deal. The game label politics is not that deep. Being sexually fluid is such a cop out. If a man can get you hard and you are a man, then you are officially not straight. And it doesn't even make any bit of sense to try and claim that just because you feel like your masculinity puts you into a different category than other LGBTQ people who aren't as masculine as you are, more genderqueer, androgynous, whatever the case may be. And that's all I got for y'all this time. Thank you for watching to the end of this video and I will catch y'all next time.